Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be drawing some plants and I have this collection with me. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to draw all of these plants, probably not, but yeah I'm going to be drawing in my sketchbook and having a chat so get your sketchbook if you want to draw along with me or you can just stick me in the background. But yeah, let's get started. So Originally I was going to make this one of those 30 minute real time drawings and as you will see um, I start putting down a lot of plants around my sketchbook. Way too many plants than I'm able to draw in 30 minutes because I tend to be quite a slow drawer. So I actually I could see the time was sort of like ticking away and I realised that I wasn't going to be able to finish uh, like I think I'd only done two drawings in 30 minutes so I decided that I was gonna uh, do another 30 minutes so I was I will be drawing for a whole hour but I'm not gonna make you sit through an hour of me drawing and rambling on so I thought that I would just do a voiceover instead hopefully you'll still enjoy it you still get to watch me draw and you still get to listen to me chat about different things I'm going to be having a chat about what I've been reading recently and also what tv I've been watching and yeah just any other kind of updates that I think of so yes this footage is sped up and I started off by drawing it's actually it's green plants and it's got uh, it's got these yellow dots all over it which uh, it looks really funky and um, I actually got it three pounds from I think Morrison's which is just a supermarket in the UK and I decided that I'd try it with a yellow pen just because I thought maybe I could do the yellow and then go back over it with green but you will see a little bit later that I don't think I put enough green over the top and I do spend quite a lot of time on this plant. I was really trying hard not to spend too long thinking about where all the individual like circles and dots and markings go because I think sometimes that can really sort of slow you down in a drawing and yeah I'm trying to sort of go against being a perfectionist um, as much as possible and you know sketchbooks are meant to be kind of rough aren't they and um, I used to have a tutor who would tell you to not draw like all the windows in a house which uh, sometimes it's it's difficult not to get kind of hung up on all the details uh, because I do like the details but yes I I really wish that I'd made this a lot greener but I'm really pleased with the shapes that I've created and I think if you do want to do any kind of quicker drawings marker pens I find them really useful just because one you can't rub them out so if you make a mistake you just have to kind of live with it but um yeah I, I just think you can kind of get more kind of gestural marks with a marker similar to if you use like charcoal or anything that's a bit bigger I find when I'm using a pencil you can be a bit more kind of fiddly but if you're using sort of something bigger it I don't know it just sort of helps and I think the fact that you're kind of doing block colours I sort of think about like the whole shape a little bit more I think I don't know I find they help me and if I ever do any sketching out and about um, or if I just yeah want to be a bit quicker then I will use marker pens and then sort of do a bit more detail with the pencil. So um, yeah, I <laughs> I realised that the time was sort of uh, going, ticking on here and realised I should probably move on to another one. So I'm drawing this cactus, which is actually in the really cute little 
pot plant. It's it's actually got a face on it, which is really sweet. And I I thought I'd try doing a grey sort of undertone first of all, and then do some details and sort of make it look a bit more kind of maroon coloured over the top. Um, here I'm realising that I didn't make it long enough, so I'm just <laughs> adding a little bit extra to it. And yeah, I um, I will leave any of the names of the plants in the description just um, because I don't know all the names off the top of my head. Obviously, I know this is some kind of cactus or succulent. Um, I do actually have an app on my phone, which I've just got, which is really handy. It's called Picture This. There is a paid version, but I'm just using the free version. And... Uh, you just take a photo of a plant and then it will tell you what the plant is and it gives you details of like uh, so the care of the plants of when to water it what type of soil it needs and stuff like that um oh i think just about then my camera either decided to stop recording actually i think yeah that's that's what happened it it's it stopped a couple of times i need to actually check whether there's something in the settings that I can change because this happened last time when I was filming for a while that it just decided it it had had enough and it, it hadn't run out of battery and it hadn't run out of space on the memory card although that does happen later um, another reason why it was a good <laughs> good idea to just speed this whole thing up um, I when if I notice that it stopped I do pause the countdown and um, and as I said this I was drawing for an hour so when I get to the end of the countdown I do start the countdown again so we, yeah I managed to do a couple more plants than this so I thought I'd give you an update on what I'm reading and what I'm watching on TV so um reading i say reading usually i'm listening to an audiobook um i've just listened to two kind of like kids sort of fantasy books so i'm currently listening to the wizard of once and i can't remember who the author is right now but it is by the same person who wrote how to train your dragon and yeah, that's that's really fun. And the audiobook is actually read by David Tennant and he's really good. And I love an audiobook where they do all the different voices. Um, so I'm really enjoying that. And it's yeah, it's quite a sort of funny, silly kind of book. I really like what they've done with the giants. So um, quite often giants are portrayed as being a bit kind of stupid. And in this book, the giants, they appear to be slow, as in they move slow and they talk slowly. But that's just because the time frame for them is a little bit different. And they're actually really intelligent. And a lot of the times they're really deep thinkers. But they have this problem that if they do think too much, their head stops smoking. And, um, and then if there's any enemies nearby then they will they will find out where they are. Um, the other thing is that they're very friendly and uh, and they're actually vegetarian, which is cool. Um, although I think they should just go, you know, go the whole thing and just go vegan. <laughs> but yeah, so here I'm coming back to the other plant. I think I just decided at this point that I was gonna do it for an hour. And so I thought, well, I better finish this one off and then I can turn the page and do another one. I'm actually working with two different colored green pencils. And I was also, I thought I'd do two different colored greens just because I, I was trying to get that look of when you can see a bit of the lights through the leaves. So I thought if I made some of them darker and some of them lighter, the lighter ones might look like it had the light shining through. I don't know if it really works, but you know, sketchbooks are for experimenting with different stuff. So yeah, I think I am getting a little bit faster possibly by this point. 
and try not to <laughs> to count the circles to see if I've got them in the right place and and just sort of go for it. So yeah, so that is one book that I've been reading. Um, yeah, so coming coming back to Wizard of Once, um, so it follows two children who are both the hero, and one is a boy who is a wizard who doesn't have any magic and the other is a warrior princess and she's both of them kind of don't live up to their parents expectations because the wizard doesn't have any magic and his magic should have come in by now and and the warrior you know she's a bit kind of clumsy and has also got a like very big heart um there's also the princess's bodyguard who's quite funny um also he's also a child as well and he's very studious but he's not so so good at the kind of the bodyguarding <laughs> aspects of it and um he has this unfortunate condition where whenever he finds himself in danger and is sort of a bit scared he ends up falling asleep a little bit like sort of fainting um I guess but yeah so I've I've been enjoying that book and the other book that I've recently listened to is How's Moving Castle um which I've I've seen the film obviously and uh, I say obviously <laughs> um yeah no I, I love the film of How's Moving Castle and I have read the book as well quite a few years ago and it's funny listening to the audiobook because I don't remember Hal being Welsh and I think a lot of that comes from the fact that I watched the Studio Ghibli film first and so I'm used to Christian Bale's version of Hal and and then also when I read the book like I I, I don't know if I really imagine accents when I'm reading it and and then also a lot of the setting for Hal's Moving Castle is fictional fantasy places but then with the castle being able to move and like the door sort of you know you open the door and it shows different locations one of the locations that they go to is set in Wales which is obviously where Hal grew up and I think that is actually where his where the castle is but it's just spelled to seem like it's really moving around and and it can be in different locations at the same time. But yeah, I love the story of that. I love stories that have a bit of fantasy in and some humour. And it was quite nice listening to a story that I'm quite familiar with as well. But it's been a while since I read the book. So also let me know, do you ever listen to audiobooks that you've read before? Um, and does that kind of like do you notice anything different that you didn't notice before maybe something about the way that the reader reads the story maybe if they put different emphasis on different points in the story or if they I don't know they could interpret a character in a different way and make you see different things yeah I'm moving on to oh to the I think it's called like a money plant or something something like that the one that's that's on the left again going in with the markers to start and uh yeah these kind of remind me of like lily pads or something yeah so tv wise um we're watching a couple of things on netflix actually one one of the things we have finished and i say we to be honest i don't know if tom's really he's not such a huge tv person but He'll sit next to me. I'm I'm kind of more into it than he is. But we watched Living With Yourself, which is on Netflix. And I found it really, really interesting. It has got Paul Rudd in it. And usually he seems to be in these like comedies. And quite often they're kind of like silly comedies as well. But yeah, this isn't a comedy. It's if you like sort of sci-fi things, then I think you'll like this. And it does have some funny moments in it and some quite touching moments in it as well. I'll give you a brief summary over it, but I'll try not to give any spoilers. But basically the whole thing is that this guy, you know, he's, he's quite depressed actually. And 
in his job, like he doesn't really feel like anybody respects him in his job and he's not getting on with his wife so well. They're trying for a baby and she keeps wanting him to, you know, go to the doctor and, and get tested because they've been trying for a while and so they're both sort of having tests done and he's very kind of reluctant to do that. And so, and like, they're not getting on as well as they were. And he has a very low, like very low self-esteem. And he notices that a guy at his work has seemed to change and has got a lot more confidence, seems a lot happier. And the guy tells him that he has been to this spa and they basically, they make you into like the best version of yourself that you can be or something. And so, oh, and it's referrals only. So it's very kind of secretive. And he's in, he's intrigued by it, but it's a lot of money. But he decides that he's going to take a load of money out of their savings, not telling his wife, and that he's going to go to this spa. What he doesn't know is this spa is actually cloning people. So it's, it's cloning them, but kind of fiddling with their DNA a little bit just to make them into a better, which we'll do in inverted commas, version of themselves. So, for example, he's, he has to wear glasses and then when he's cloned, he doesn't need to wear glasses. But yeah, they don't only clone the person, they, they don't tell them that they're cloning them and they get rid of the original and um and then they they you know they kill them they're meant to like sort of gas them and they get rid of the body but you know something goes wrong and and so um they think that they've killed the original um the original Paul, Paul Rudd's character um but they haven't and so then there are two of them and and so then they find out that this this procedure um so it wasn't just that he was having a facial and a massage or whatever he was actually being cloned um but yeah and it's I it's um there's only a few episodes I think it was something like was it eight or ten episodes something like that but yeah it was really interesting and I, th I thought the writing was really good and sometimes like I mean I, I do love things like this I love anything anything to do with time travel robots clones uh yeah anything sci-fi or anything fantasy I just I love all of that stuff um, but sometimes, obviously, if you watch a few different things like this, then you might be able to kind of guess at what might happen. But I thought the writing was really good because it was, yeah, it was really kind of surprising me a lot of the time with what was happening. Um, but yeah, coming back to what I am doing on the screen here. So I have, I've sort of flipped back a page because I was waiting for this to dry a little bit and I've done I've done the pots in orange which is obviously a lot of a brighter orange but you know artistic license um and then I was just adding a bit of brown pencil and I'm using like the side of the pencil more to sort of get a bit more kind of texture in there um and then I'm just adding a bit of a bit of shadow with this green pencil but yeah so that was that was one thing that we've watched the whole thing of and yeah I would I would definitely recommend living with yourself if you're into sci-fi stuff that has still got like it's got drama as well and I, yeah I always actually like sci-fi and fantasy stuff that still has some basis in reality and because I think sometimes stuff like that can really show you stuff about I don't know like the human condition and yeah 
The other thing that we've been watching is called Daybreak. And I've actually watched quite a few of them already, even though we've only just started watching it. And as soon as I started watching it, I thought I hadn't even finished watching the first episode. And I was thinking, I bet this is based on a comic book because it and, and it is. And it really has that feel because it does a lot of kind of like the main character talks to the camera quite a bit. Um, but yeah, basically the story of that one is that there's some kind of a, like apocalypse and it's kind of got zombies, but they're not really zombies and they're called ghoulies. Um, so what has happened is there's been some kind of explosion and for some reason it has, it, it has pretty much either killed all of the adults and turn them into goo or it's turned them into these kind of zombie type creatures it's a comedy and yeah it's quite sort of silly but it's it's quite fun as well and there are there are still a couple of adult cre um <laughs> creatures well yeah they are they are creatures but um adult characters in it yeah my favorite is Miss Crumble. Yeah, let me know if you've watched either of those and if you've also read House Moving Castle and if you've read Wizard of Once. Um, as usual, I, I'd love your book recommendations and TV recommendations as well. And I think I'm pretty much coming to the end of this now. Um, I'm just, I'm, yeah, I'm just doing these sort of veiny type things I thought I'd go around and sort of do the outline first because they've got this like green outline um and then the sort of red around it I think in a minute I actually my camera went yeah my camera went again <laughs> which is just ridiculous but we got there in the end, so yeah, now I'm just adding some final shading. But yeah, I've I've really been enjoying doing some more sketching in my sketchbook. I would like to have another go at doing a real-time draw and chat, but it is definitely a skill trying to chat at the same time as draw and trying to draw quickly. I think I was a little bit ambitious trying to draw all these plants, and yeah there are a couple of plants here that I didn't actually even draw but um yeah I drew I drew a couple I drew one two I think I drew four plants in the end and you know some of them have got a lot of different leaves on them so I think that was a bit more drawing than my last sketchbook video that I did um, oh, I'm having a, a mad panic, which is probably why the camera's shaking a bit, because I'm probably moving <laughs> moving the table and jogging it a little bit. I don't know. But yeah, adding these little, I don't know, they're kind of like little spiky things that are around the leaf and on the stem of the plants. A couple of seconds. I really jump in a minute when this goes off as well. <laughs> I'm like... Racing against the clock. There we go. Done. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you liked it. Um, if you did like it, please give it a like and a comment. And yeah, let me know if you were drawing or what you were up to as well. And if you want to see more of these. Um, if you do want to see more of these, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification. I do videos Wednesday and Sunday. So, yep, yeah, that's it for me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.